war. Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. What's going on, it's the Tim. So Tim comes out with another video. We talk in a Deja Vu 3 episode 2. Before I get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, let me know what y'all think about this video, okay? So it starts off where we left off, where this episode really irritated me the first half. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of glad that, like, them bitches came to their senses after getting sober. Because I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> it low key made me mad the first half of the episode because I'm like, you mean to tell me you would specify to get hit and just be like, okay, I'm a trans, so I'm gonna just like, hit you back. Like, that's crazy. Anyways, so Joyce ends up turning Naj into a mop. Swift for a sweep throw, my son. She told her into a, a cider mop, a Bacell mop. A rubber bay mop, a Hoover steam mop, a lipid mop, and a Hoover mop. One of those brands. She literally turned her to a mop on the floor. Like literally said, boop, off to the floor. I still don't get what possessed us to hit her like that. It's so hard out of nowhere like that. She bow. Like you didn't see that coming. Like she just hit her like, like she chin checked her. You know how Natalie Nunn said, even if I was Natalie Nunn, you couldn't chin check me. Like she chin checked Joyce. Apparently, Nosh blames it on the left car. She says the alcohol is what had her acting like that. Now, Nola starts to get uh, mad. Everybody's sort of in shock because of what just happened with Nosh being on the floor. Okay? Dive in. You kick it a little bit too hard. You see how... <laughs> Dive in. Dive in talking about her veneers got pushed back and all that. Dive in, you lost the veneer. You know what I'm saying? By the way, y'all, this show was filmed after Diamond Film Baddies Caribbean, not after the reunion. This was before the reunion, after the season finished filming. Just to make it clear as to what, it'll make it make more sense, okay? Because, of course, you wouldn't say something like that after Tzatziki done did that to her mouth. You feel me? So, Nola's mad. She's, like, she's trying to get at Joyce and stuff, but you really should be mad at your friend, Nola, because... You shouldn't be happy that she hit her out of nowhere. So Diamond's talking to Joy. She's like apologizing to her. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry, babe. Like, because I hit you last season. I think they think that it's okay to keep hitting on you. And then Joyce is like, I'm not jacking that. Like, I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, if you want to hit me, like, you could have just hit me off the bat. Like, you are here twerking and, and you running out your mouth. And I had to sock you. Okay, you keep popping at your gums by you touching my body, like, on my face. Like, I ain't jacking that. Okay, so Joyce is really pissed that Naj was sort of questioning her and checking her. And um, basically, Diamond, though, I don't think owes Joyce an apology. Because Joyce last season, in my opinion, it was a little bit justified, all that stuff that went down. Because Joyce was searching for a problem. This is why I said this episode, this first half pissed me off because I'm like, this time she really wasn't doing that, and then y'all just hit her for no reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now, Naj. Like, Joyce last season was searching for a problem. She was itching to get some stuff started. This time she just walked in saying hi to everybody, and Naj sort of started pressing her. So that's why I feel like last season, don't compare to this season, what happened, because literally Joyce got popped because of an opinion. The two don't correlate. At all. So Naj, of course, was clearly drunk. Like, I don't know if it was the brown liquor or the clear liquor, but it was a liquor. Like, the bitch was, like, inebriated, okay? Diamond said it was giving Whitney Houston. I'm like, <laughs> y'all is just not letting Diamond, y'all not letting Naj beat the part of notice allegations. Y'all need to stop talking about it was giving Whitney Houston, it was giving Nippy, okay? That's Whitney Houston nickname. It was giving Nippy, okay? Because apparently, you know, Naj was, oh! Okay, like Whitney Houston used to do. <laughs> okay, so after that happens, Naj is going crazy. She's still trying to get at Joyce. Now, who would have thought that Almond would have been like the, the voice of reason? Shout out to Almond for speaking some sense into her, even if she was drunk at the moment, because she basically was like, Joyce is going to tear you. 
then why the hell did you hit her? I'm like, finally, somebody said that what we're all thinking. Like, why did you hit her one? And you do know she going to tear you up a new asshole. Say what you want. Joyce is still on moans, but that's a strong bitch. I don't care what nobody say. You saw what she did to Holly. Imagine what she going to do to you, Naj. Your hands are not that fast. I'm sorry. I'm not saying Joyce is like a heavy hitter or nothing, but like, Joyce still, you know, she still got that in her. And y'all know what I'm talking about. She still got that in her. So she still got it in her to tear you. Okay, so it's good that Alma was there to kind of wake her up. Like, you sure you want to fight her, sis? Like, you really want to do that? Okay. Now, my whole thing with nausea in this scene is how you going to hit somebody first and then cry wolf? And cry trans. You still a trans in this. And I'm like, but you hit her first. Okay, and I'm like the last one to defend Joyce, but like Naj was dead ass wrong. Okay, Naj said she had to pop her because she felt like Joyce didn't give an F about her opinion. This is what's disappointing to me. And y'all, I've interviewed Naj before and everything like that. So, like, if she ever comes across this video, hi Naj, hi Almond. Anyways. <laughs> If you ever come across this video, this isn't personal. A lot of, I keep having to reiterate this every single video. These videos are not personal. We're here to key, we're here to gag, we're here to laugh. It's not that serious to me. I do these recaps and go about my business. I don't care that much. Some people go on this platform and say some outrageous shit about a lot of y'all. I don't care to do that. Okay? I just get my opinion. And I'm entitled to that. And you're not going to hit me like Joyce. Okay, anyways. But... I, what's disappointing to me with Naj is I feel like she gives people too much, like, energy and worth. Why do you care that she doesn't care about your opinion? Who the, is Joyce to you? She, You should have paid her no mind. You should have paid her dust as if she wasn't in the house. And if she started effing with you, then you would have had the right to pop her in her mouth. But she didn't, though. That's the thing. Like, So it's like you give her too much merit. You give her too much credit as if her opinion matters. And it doesn't matter. A lot of people think that uh, uh, Naj could beat up Cash. And a lot of people think Cash could beat up Naj. I think that none of them could beat up each other and it would be an even squabble. That's just my opinion. I don't think one or the other is going to tear each other down. It's going to be an even squabble. That's how I feel. Okay, now um, then you got Michelle. I'm so sick of her. I'm sorry. Like, Michelle, you colorist whore. I'm sick of her. Okay, she out there screaming. She like, I'm going to call Cologne now. I'm going to call Cologne. Like, she's so quick to team up with Cologne. Like, Miss Team Light Skin. I'm sorry. I just like, uh, uh, Michelle to me, she, she reminds me a lot of Kai. Like, to me, they go in the same box. Like, real irritating. I'm sorry. Like, they like they irritate me on TV. I don't know the lady personally, but, like, watching them, Michelle is very irritating to me. Okay? Now, Nola and Naj enter in the, lo the lounge trying to get at Joy. So, first, they were trying to get in through, like, the regular way. But then they, the security wasn't letting them in. So they tried to get in through the windows and shit and try to pop in through the window, pop locks like, like Fly Nine. They popping locks and, and, and popping wheelies and they they doing flips to get in the lounge. And when they get in there, Joyce is just like, so like these bitches trying to come for me. And it's like, I don't get it. Like at the end of the day, like you hit me first, Naj. And it's like, I thought this was supposed to be like deja vu. And like these bitches, like they're not up to par. Mind you, Joyce dressed like she's going to go to Justin's Cabaret. Where are you going, bitch? Ugh. So she gets in there. And when I tell you, <laughs> Joyce says that Nola and Dodge look crazy. And she said that Nola had lemonade braids. I thought we left that in 2016. When I tell you, I screamed. Because I'm not going to lie, Nola, you was giving freedom, freedom, where are you? Because I got freedom too. I do pay no by myself. Don't let my freedom buy it. I'm going to keep winning because the winner don't quit on this end. 
Okay, that's what you was telling Nosh. Frida, Frida, where are you? Okay, when Joyce said that, when I tell y'all, I let out the loudest laugh because I just immediately thought of Beyonce. <laughs> that bitch said eleven eight raise. That's crazy. <laughs> oh man, the braids don't look neat. So not too much, Joyce. Although they were giving lemonade, circa Beyonce vibes. They look neat. So did Michelle's braids. They look very neat. You feel me? Like they didn't look messy. They didn't, they weren't giving Jim Jones with braids with a hat. You feel me? So they bring Joyce outside in a car because they're trying to sweep her away before she gets jumped up in there. Like she on South Central Baddies. And then she's just like, So what happened? Like y'all trying to fight though? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I got the energy. I got the energy for you bitches. That's what's up. What happened? What happened? So she's popping her ish, uh, getting out the car. She's trying to get out the car to get to them. And they sort of like sweep her away. So that way nothing like really happens. Right. So it's the next day. And then we see uh, Almond, Nola, and Ferragamo. And Nola starts off was like, oh, so like, what's up? Like, who y'all think gonna fight today? Like, who fighting? This is what bothers me with not as TV. We have y'all got so much fighting shows. Like we what the baby Tyson said, like we in the fighting club. We in the fighting club. Can y'all have one show where like like damn, y'all could fight every now and then, but it's like, damn, bitch. Can you go on South Central Baddies since you want to fight so bad? Fight for our rights. Better yet, go fight for the country. Go to the military. Like, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. can we have like deja vu, although. It had its fights. It's more so relationship based and more like real world vibes. Y'all trying to turn it into sausage of baddies. Like that's what sausage of baddies is for. Like shut up. Like that sort of irritated me when she started off with that because it's like, damn. Like you, y'all ruined a good thing that was going, which was deja vu and like the whole co-ed sort of experience. Like oh, so she's like, oh, uh, who trying to fight or whatever. Uh, she's like, oh, Gamo, you think you're going to be fighting? Now, you know damn well Gamo not going to be fighting unless somebody hit her or start messing with her stuff. So I don't even know I even asked her that. Okay. Now, Alma comes in and basically starts to defend Joyce uh, and literally was the voice of reason in this episode, to be honest. I was really shocked. Now, Nola was saying, oh, you know, I was drunk, um, and, you know, I only saw when Naj was on the floor, like a mop, and that she didn't see Naj uh, sock Joyce, so she felt bad that she started blaming Joyce for something, you know, that she didn't really start physically, at least. So, um, the whole thing with that, though, is drunk or not, you should have got the whole story before you just reacted off the rip. I get that's your friend and all, but you should have got the whole situation because you weren't even watching the whole fight. All you saw was her on the floor. What happened that she ended up on the floor? But I blame some of this on Joyce because of the stuff that she's done on past shows. People go automatically assume that you just starting ish. So that's why your reputation preceded you because you're known to just be picking with cis girls and just messing with them and da 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 da. And then now when they see one laying on the floor, they thought you just knocked the bitch out. You get what I'm saying? Nola turned around and just thought you sought the hell out of her, not knowing that you just dragged Nosh to the floor and used her as a swiffer sweeper. Okay? So Almond is basically like, yeah, like you should have relaxed and stuff and like, you know, why would you want to fight her? Like, why would you want to get hit by her? Like, basically, I'm going to say what we're thinking. Like, she's stronger than you still physically. So it's like, I don't think that's the right road to head down to try to fight her. So then Michelle joins. And she's still talking about Diamond. <laughs> they kind of cut the scene. So I don't know if somebody asked her a question. But we're about Diamond again. So, uh, She's talking about how, you know, Diamond sort of chose her line, and that's why she doesn't get along with Diamond and stuff like that. Now, all men, 
Alma's an entertainer, but I'm gonna have to call you out, Alma. You said in this clip, and I quote, Diamond's talking ish about you, Michelle. Don't you think it's cute? She has a lot of followers. Bitch, why you got mad at me? I got a good following on the YouTube, but I can't say nothing, but Diamond can. That's crazy. But it's cool though. I'm playing. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? I was like, wow, okay. So she can, but I can't. I, right. anyways, Diamond joins in and she clocks Michelle's tea. And it's what I was thinking. I think Michelle thought she should have got picked on baddies instead of Diamond. Although Diamond was trolling her, don't get me wrong. I feel like after the auditions, I never saw Diamond troll her again. So I think Michelle was still bitter for the fact that she wanted to be on Baddies Midwest and she didn't get picked. That light skin power that she was talking about in season one didn't work, did it? Okay? And I think she's bitter about that. Now that TV shady though. They didn't let they didn't let Diamond say the word baddies. They said the this other show, as if we don't know what show she's talking about. She's like, you know, when me and her audition for this other show, she didn't get picked, but I got picked. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what that other show was. Okay. Um, so then we get somebody else who joins the cast. Coolio. I'm playing y'all. It was Dawn. Dawn ends up joining the crew. And he basically said, you know, he's there to, you know, get to know some of the cast, get to kind of mess around with some of the ladies. He said something crazy in the confessionals. He said, had the girls not looked like they had a whole bunch of STDs, he would have been dicking them down. I wonder what y'all think about that, girlies, that's on this show, because that's insulting than a motherfucker. Oh, my God. <laughs> he basically said, y'all girls look burnt out. Like, damn, nigga. You better be with the baddest of bitches this season and outside the show for you to say something like that, okay? So Nola ends up asking DTB, are you friends with LaRue? Are you friends with Ruru? Are you? Were you invited to the tea party? <laughs> but Diamond is up turning around and said, no, like, I don't know her. Uh, and then her confessional calls her a fan. See, this is why I don't like to show love to bitches. No shade. Because they turn around and do stuff like this. Diamond, I like you, but that was so weird to me. Why would you call her a fan? I'm telling you this auto. Be nice to motherfuckers. You, you show love, they call you a fan. You be nice, they say you fanned out. You try to defend a motherfucker, you obsessed. You fanned out. You just can't be showing love no more. This I'm telling you, this is why I don't do it. I'm, because next thing you know, I'm a fan. Like, it's like, come on now. When Diamond said that, that was really disappointing to me. Uh, because she low-key had your back. Because they really was about to gang up on your ass. And you really could have got jumped, to be honest. They really could have jumped you in that scene. And now that CV would have broke it up and not did a shit about it. And just continue with the show going. So, I didn't think that was cool. Okay? So, um... Nola feels a way about this because she feels like LaRue is being hypocritical and she feels like uh, LaRue shouldn't have been calling her out because she's known Najanim longer versus her not knowing DTB that much. Okay, so next thing you know, DTB reveals that they're doing a, a 21 versus 1 to pick like the male cast for the show, uh, for the rest of the cast of the show because they're missing male cast members. So enter in LaRue and Becca. Child, Becca to Rari House advice. And she put that pussy down. It got that not as TV chain from swag. <laughs> okay. Rari House. So you have some sort of effect, Rari. You told the bitches, put that, put that, put that pussy down. And Becca took your advice and now she got that chain. Okay. Y'all may have not given out the 10K. But I say I I see y'all gave out the chain, okay? Justice for dime. I'm screaming that till I die, okay? Justice for dime in the 10K and the chain. Because I'm still waiting for y'all to disperse those funds. Anyways, uh the entering or whatever, uh Becca's just like, you know, Becca talks like um uh, Bianca from Love and Hip Hop and Baddies. She's like, you know, it's Becca, and I'm here 
And you know, on Deja Vu season three, I heard it's the last season. Like Becca talks like she whispering, like she's sneaking her way into the Deja Vu house. Speak up. You feel me? She's like, you know, like, um, I'm here to do my biggest one and get to know some of the cast. Now, I like uh, Becca on um, Zodiac House. That was one of the few. And I stopped watching it halfway because Pooty P- P- was getting on my nerves. So I couldn't watch the rest. I'm not going to lie. But from what I did watch, I liked her. So it's good to sort of see her back. All right. So, um. Nola ends up confronting LaRue. So she's telling LaRue, she's just like, oh, why did you check me? And you and uh, DT don't even know each other. And she act like she basically called you a fan. Like, what's up with that? Although I do agree with Nola with LaRue's point being hypocritical because DTB claimed her as a fan, I still was on LaRue's side because Nola gives me heavy follower energy. Like, there's some people that they be cast on out of TV. You could tell they they want it to be on out of TV like, Hard, you feel me? Just to have a scowl on there. Like, I hate those kind of cast members. Like, it's cringe to me. So, uh, Naj ends up coming in. Mind you, LaRue wasn't having it. LaRue was like, and you're not checking me, though. What are we talking about? Huh? Clearly, we see them fighting in the trailer, but I guess it happens later on. I thought LaRue was going to get up and start swinging on her from then on, but they sort of kept it cute and cool. Uh, from there on, to be honest. Uh, I really wish that LaRue had called out DTB about the fan situation, but I don't think she heard the word fan in that scene, and she probably watching it now pissed as fuck because DTB called her a fan, okay? So next thing you know, Naj comes in with her body. She comes in mad and said, I said, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, DTB, get ready to squab out. Joyce, get ready to squab out. But now she mad because Big Shroom on the way. Mel is on the way to the house. So they start questioning her about her beef with Mel. She basically lets us know the deja vu breakdown. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I thought Naj was kind of ducking Mel a little bit, like she was ducking uh, Cash. But clearly she wasn't, okay? So they start talking about Don. And he's like, no, nah, he's like a ghost to me. I don't give a fuck about him. Who the fuck is Don? That, looks, that nigga right there? Okay. Paying him like no mind. I was like, damn. I think that hurt Don's feelings. I'm, although he probably didn't say it and he didn't want to show it, I think that really hurt that nigga feelings. Like, you could kind of see him sort of, like, cower a little bit. I said, aww. Like, you feel me? It, it really had him in his feels, I feel like, a little bit. Okay? Next thing you know, DTB's just like, so, yeah, like, what's up with you and Don? Because me and Gucci are not together. Okay? So, she's already eyeing her a piece of Don. Right? She want him some Akulio. All right? So she sort of eye him, and Naj is like, okay, go at it. Like, basically have at it. Okay? Take off. I think that's what really hurt Naj's feeling. <laughs> if an ex basically is in your presence, and another person is trying to get with you, and they said, ah, who cares? Go at it. That's going to make you feel like, damn, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Like, Naj was like, have the sass. <laughs> have fun with the sass. Like, just throwing him away. I was like, damn. Like, that was some savage shit. Shout out to Naj in that new relationship. Like, that shows me that that relationship is, you know that, that, that emoji? Tight. Because oh, she didn't, she didn't oh, squirm her a bit over Dawn, Okay. So uh, we come uh, to introduce Matt. He comes back uh, from the night before. Him and Don got beef because him and Don uh, were beefing and Naj had got involved in it. And Don had said something very disrespectful that I'm not going to repeat on here because of YouTube guidelines about Matt's daughter. Whew. Mac, I'm not going to lie. You should have sucked this out of Don. You should have left there with a twist from his head. Because that was disrespectful. But he kept it cool. They kind of moved on from it. Don sort of like sized him in the confession base saying, we not cool, but he cool because he don't want that pressure. And that basically like he only going to fight somebody touch him. So I'm like. So they get to the 20 versus one, 21 versus one, whatever you want to call it. I don't give a fuck. Okay. We see some of the not as TV cast members. 
Uh, we see some new niggas. Y'all, I see Omar. Yo, guys, are, let me tell y'all, I get a lot of DMs. And some of the stuff y'all send me is reckless. You guys are the real young and reckless. My entertainers, y'all is crazy. <laughs> because what y'all sent me, that boy, I did not know this. <laughs> let me shut up. I gagged. I was like, wow. <laughs> like, y'all do a lot. Like, y'all, 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 some of y'all need to join the Fed. The FBI, because the way that y'all be see, sending me stuff that I don't even find, and I'm the blogger, is kind of like, it's a little crazy to me. So they start picking, like, the cast, like, so unorganized, they ended up picking Sheik, the dancer guy that I think worked with Scrab, the one who be like, I just want to have some fun, pull up! Him, I saw him. Uh, the guy, there's, they they get to this guy with some gray hair, his name is Unk, Big Unk. Oh, they sort of point him out. Almond was really feeling big up. Uh, okay, he saw that gray hair, and his whole his whole opened. Okay, because of big up. Uh, not gonna lie, he is fine though. I'm not gonna lie, he is. He is. And for forty, he looked good. He looked good. He looked good. I thought he was like late forties, and he just got gray hair early. Like he looked really, really good. So they sort of picked him out the pack, and they basically had him squabble, of course, in not that TV fashion, with some little boy, some young short boy. He starts fighting him, and the episode sort of ends there. I wish they had did it in another way, and they made them go to the actual. Y'all know how they do with the twenty versus one? They made them go to the studio. That would have been cool, and then they had them go from studio back home. That would have been raw. Because it looks like half of them are still going to be there sitting around. Like, I don't know. This was a good episode, though. Let me know what y'all think down below. And where are babies? Ain't no personal thing. All that thing.